Welcome back to another episode. This week, we fix some rot in the deck and stop a leak. So let's get into it. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. This is our bedroom today. He wants to pull it apart for some reason. Well, I don't want to. I never want to pull a boat apart. I'm going to show you before I start here. I've been around the deck pushing everywhere and I, I have obviously found a couple of spots that had soft spots. Not unusual with boats. Any water penetration into a core or balsa core, plier core, whatever core you got. Here, you can see, if I push here, you can see that move. So that core behind here is no good. It's, it's only literally a spot, like about this round. I'm gonna show you why and how this has happened. I know exactly why it's happened. And uh, I'm gonna fix it. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. So I'm not sure the thickness of the core here. Could be an inch, could be thicker, thinner. We'll find out once I cut this out. So I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna replace it with the G10 board, make up a nice pasty mix, stick it up in there, glass over it, job done. Um, but I've got to fix the culprit behind this. So let's go up top and have a look and I'll show you why we have a little soft spot here. All right guys, our soft spot is right, right here. So if you stand here, you could feel it on the deck, just the slightest bit of compression. You can see a little bit of grazing around the edges. So let me remove this. So this here is a outlet for our emergency tiller. Well, you can see none of that sealant has even stuck to this. That is, there's not one bit of seal on here. You can see it's green. And if you look, if you look through here, here is just silicon. So probably a cheap silicon, I would say. You can see there's moisture. It's got underneath here. And as a result, that's just falling off. But as a result, see there's our core. So really in the first place when this was put in, this should have been dug out and sealed with an epoxy or some sort of uh, filling so that water couldn't get ingress into the core. So that water, the worst of it is obviously here. You can see where that screwdriver just goes in. And that's back to our soft spot here. This is pretty solid here, but I'll remove all that as much as I can until we hit solid timber. Scratch all that out, and then we'll pack all thickened epoxy in under here. We may even drill another hole right here, and just put a, a liner of epoxy here, and then I'll just keep syringing it in and filling up this, this little wet spot here. And just keep filling, 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 until we get it all filled up. See. See how it goes. Let's we'll open it all up first and see how bad it is. It's this oscillating tool. I love it. It's so easy. to. I've used this for so many little things. I can't believe all these years I never had one. starting here probably a little bit up in behind here you can see that's okay I've got a little bit of digging to do here and obviously the way back to the hatch will be all uh, rotten so we're to replace this that's solid there solid here and you can just see where I've got to replace but I'll probably cut all that timber out anyway and really bring it back to some solid timber and straight to the hatch will be all new so we can get our G10 board in there We'll clean all this up in a minute and I'll show you what it looks like once we clean it up. But you can see the water has gotten all through that. All because someone didn't seal that opening properly. Let the fun begin.
that's our deck. I've just taken a few measurements. I'm going to cut a solid piece of G10 and slide that all the way through. So just behind here where my pen is, where that actual opening was. And that's where the water got in here and started making its way. To the right over here is where our hatch is and we'll reseal all that and I can epoxy in around there later. No doubt there might be a little bit of something going on around here. This one isn't tabbed, so they've drilled it. They've cut a hole in the deck, so hopefully they've done a better job at sealing the hatch. Or it's just come of age and it needs to be resealed. We've done every other hatch on the boat apart from Taj and Bellas. So we'll incorporate that hatch at some stage and um, reseal that. Make sure it all seems solid all around it. So we'll get this square back in, all sealed up, taped in. That's the cleaning process for in here for now. I'll etch this a little bit more and then we'll acetone it. And then we'll slide our G10 up. It should actually slide in nicely and come out over where the uh, hole is out the back. And um, I'm just gonna take some measurements now from the outside and see how far I can get the board to slide in. two holes here I've just pulled them out they look like two earplugs <laughs> and uh, I'd say it was a cradle for a, uh, a life raft I can see the timber in there it hasn't rotted but that's just one of those areas if you leave that unsealed it'll just spread and rot out we'll get to that one before there's any rot this is all fixed up now I'm just gonna run a tape here over that and tape that in I've got the G10 board up inside. I've cut, used the old glass I cut out, put back over as a filler, and I'll just tape that in. And it is rock solid on the deck. It's uh, hard as a rock up there. So it's really good. I've managed to push it through and then slide it back against an epoxy barrier up in here and tied it all in, and it's super solid. Good job, Ed. The roof liner was off. Even though we've uh, replaced all the windows and we thought we'll do that from the get-go so we don't have any uh, leaks, we had one leak. And that was um, in our gas locker where they run the gas line in and the line for the solenoid. Uh, they'd had a bit of sealant around there and the sealant's just come of age where it said, I'm no longer going to hold the water out, so you better fix me. So. While we've got the roof off, two birds with the one stone, guys. Let's go. So we've redone the core. That's that bit of uh, board that's in our room is under here. Super solid now. This was our problem. This is where water ingress got in and, and rotted a little bit of the, the uh, balsa core here. So we've put G10 board in replacement of balsa. So inside the rim around here, there's a complete epoxy core. So even if water was to get in, or get through the screws that I've done here, that's straight into epoxy, so there's no damage. Uh, it's how it should have been done from the get-go, and we wouldn't have had a problem. We just would have had to uh, reseal. But instead, we had to re-epoxy and put a bit of board in its place, but it's uh, fixed now, so. Pretty much um, used all new stainless screws in these. Well, there you have it, guys. Once again, a bit of blue tape. I like using that. It's just easier than cleaning sealant off anything. It takes you two minutes to uh, mask up something and then you don't have to worry about trying to clean uh, the sealant off. Oh, did you hit your head? It's Hello. gone. It's coming down. Alright, that's it. Missing's going. Is that sharp? Oh, I hit that thing. Oh, I'm lucky you had your hat on. Bella and Leah making the gas locker watertight, so we're getting all the holes, all the leaks, all of the bits that have been letting water into the gas locker. We're going to try and eliminate that. It's oh. not real good. <laughs> so the, gas, the original, this gas line that's on there is leaking, it's all cracked. And we seem to be running out of gas faster than usual. And, uh, I'm gonna have to redo all that. That shouldn't be loose like that. Oh, why do these jobs just turn into a bigger job every time? So what do they say? You open up a can of worms. <laughs> Alright, I think this gas line has seen better days. 
replacing the gas line in the gas locker because the big one has turned to poop. Where's where our water was leaking through here. I didn't really like the seal there, but it is what it is. We've redone it. We're gonna try and get a hatch seal in here, put a false floor in. I've got two bolts in to hold our tanks. Is that not tight? Oh, it's a gas seal. It shouldn't need it, but I just put it on there just to lock it up a bit better. Gas sealer? Yeah, but it actually doesn't really need it. It's got this cone here, but it just this so it stays nice and tight. Can't hurt. It's a little extra. Gonna finally put our room back together. Gonna close this one up. He's done a beautiful job. He's made our room watertight. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see what happens in the next rains. You're like a beautiful unicorn with that light on your head. All right, Mel's just spraying some vinegar on our ceiling because we actually, there is obviously water damage from the past and I thought the boat was so good. It had no mold anywhere and uh, we found some that's mould up on the ceiling here so just spraying some go before we close it up but anyway hopefully that's going to kill any mould growing any further that's the best thing to do right people vinegar oh, don't and tell clove. us we're putting it on vinegar and clove oil oh drip some clove in there and then spray all right i don't expect any more moisture coming through there so we i just wanted right. to kill that that's there though yeah it's not much i did scrub with soap but it didn't come off. Well, that's a wrap, guys. A couple more jobs ticked off the list. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye.